she's an amazing person and an amazing artist, and we're very happy to have her work here. Um, so I just want to have Terry share a few words about her work. I started artwork about 20 years ago, maybe a little longer. I had wanted to be an actor, and then I ran away and joined the circus, and then <laughs> got married, and had kids, and then found that I needed to do something creative, and that was when the quilting came in. My grandmothers were quilters. And um, after a while, I thought, well, I'd be, I'd be better at fabric art if I took an art class. And I didn't go to art school. I went to school for theater. So I took an art class, and that was it. I never picked up a needle and thread again. I just wanted to paint. I wouldn't call myself a self-taught artist because I've had some amazing, amazing teachers over the years. I had a wonderful collage teacher. I had somebody who taught me how to draw. I had a great painting teacher. So I had been able to incorporate all the things I love about what I like to do in art to come up with this particular show. I have to say that this was the most fun I have ever had <laughs> making art. I did not angst over it, except this one I couldn't get in the studio. <laughs> so I had to work on it in the foyer of my house. So I had to tell my husband and my son, go around it. Um, these are about a lot of things. Home, family, friendship, and COVID. And this is about Katanja Jackson. I love her, so I did this piece for her in her honor. I find really tender moments in the complexity of everyday tasks or everyday little things. The one that immediately pops in my mind is when my husband and I were in India many years ago. Our driver, every day he came with this beautiful pressed shirt. I mean, it was just crisp and pressed and, and it was the same shirt every day for three weeks because he had a tiny little tear back here. And that tear brought tears to my eyes every time we got in the car. There was just something so tender about that. And so for me, this work is kind of about that. I want you to look at the work and say, okay, wow, that's, you know, it's got blue in it. But if you get closer, you can see uh, there are little origami cranes in here that are kind of stuck, which is, for me at the time, a little symbolic about so they all have little things about them that will hopefully make you look a little closer, feel a little deeper, and uh, be happy with it. So I'm, I feel like a lot of your mark making is uh, pretty instinctual, I would guess, it very playfully. It it's a combination of using uh, my intuition, working intuitively, and having, I, I don't have a plan. I mean, I literally do not have a plan. I have tons of art supplies. So when I start, I'm, I might start with a color, or I might have that, this is a piece of my old drop cloth, and thought, oh, I kind of like that. I think I want to use it in something, and maybe put that aside. It's really about balance. Sometimes I actually bring in the mark making for the balance because it doesn't need another piece of paper or another thing or another um, you know, big blotch of color. Um, this happens to be an old drawing from one of my kids from, I think, when they were three. Um, house, old, uh, photo of an old house. Um, this, is, this came out to be a house. Rugs, carpets. I mean, it's just whatever you interpret. That was the way I did it, but I know my friend Gretchen, she saw a sailboat, she saw a skyscape at night, she saw the sail of a sailboat. So I put my own spin on it based on my experience, but then I hope that it prompts something in the viewer to have their own experience about it. So I don't enjoy working on canvas anymore, and I had a canvas and I ripped it apart and mended it because it looked a little wounded to me. And I fixed it with all of the bandages. And it, and it was fun to do as well. How do you think your background as performer has influenced your artwork? Very much so. I traveled with Ringling Brothers Circus for a couple of years as a clown after college. And um, of course the colors are finally now, I think, seeping through my conscience. It was 
probably the most amazing experience of my life with traveling for several years, going all over the country, performing. And, and all of my work is sort of that combination of all the stuff that I've experienced. <laughs> well, thank you, Terry. Thank you.